Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today's topic is adding and subtracting in algebraic expressions. Now before we get started, I just want to say that in this topic, you are going to be using the PEMDAS method. Now what is PEMDAS? It is just P-E-M-D-A-S, and you can always remember this as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's um, the way students mostly remember this, PEMDAS. So for PEMDAS, what is, like in mathematical ways, what does PEMDAS stand for? Well, it stands for parentheses, exponents, so for instance, we could just write 0 to the power of 3, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, before we get any further, I just want to say that for multiplication and division and for addition and subtraction, these two, like for instance, if we have um, a problem in which division comes first and then multiplication, you can always do division first and then multiplication. reason why is because it does not matter. For in between M and D, you can always write OR, and for A and S, you can write OR because the, the rule is left to right for these two. So left to right. So whatever comes first, you'll do it. So if it's division first, then go ahead and do it because it's from left to right, right? Because if you were to do multiplication first and skip that division part, then that would change your answer and that would become wrong. So remember, it's multiplication or division and addition or subtraction. So it's P-E-M-D-A-S, so parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, and addition or subtraction. So that's that for PEMDAS. Now since we already know what PEMDAS is, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it from here and put it to the side so that will give us room for our expression. So now in this one, since we're dealing with adding and subtracting only, we're not going to be using M and D, so we can cut those out for now. So that's parentheses, exponents, addition, and sub or subtraction. Okay, so that's that for this topic. Now, let's say we have an algebraic expression such as 2 plus 6 to the power of 3 minus 7 plus 6. Okay, so now we have this algebraic expression now according to PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses comes first. So if you can see in here, we have 2 plus 6 in parentheses, so we're going to solve this first. Now from kindergarten math, we know that 2 plus 6 is 8, so we're going to write 8 and bring down everything else just as it is. Now keep this in mind. The way you write this algebraic expression really matters because if you were just to skip around and write this down, then that could change the problem and your solution could be wrong. So bring it down just as it is. So 8 now to the power of 3 minus 7 plus 6. So six, 2 plus 6 was simplified to an 8. So we're done with parentheses. Next comes exponents. So if you can see here, we have 8 to the power of 3, which is our exponent. So 8 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 8 times 8 times 8, right? So we know that 8 times 8 is 64 times another 8. If we come over here and do it, 64 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32, carry the 3. 8 times 6 is 48, plus the 3 equals 51. So we have our product of 512. So we can just come over here and write 512, bring down everything else just as it is, 512 minus 7 plus 6. And now we're left with that. Now, next thing, since we don't have multiplication or division, is adding or subtracting. Now remember, left to right. So if you can see here, subtraction comes first from left to right. So we're going to do 512 minus 7. So if you come over here and do, so let's cut that out. 512 minus 7. We, know, we can't subtract 7 from 2, so we're going to have to borrow 1 and make that a 12, and the 1 now becomes a 0. And 12 minus 7 we know is 5, and bring down the 0 and the other 5. So now we have our difference of 505, so this becomes 505 plus 6. So now the last thing left to do is addition. So if we get that out and do 505 plus 6. 6 plus 5 is 11, carry the 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, bring down the 5, and we have 511, and 511 is our solution for 2 plus 6 to the power of 3 minus 7 plus 6. So that's that for adding and subtracting in algebraic expressions, 
And if you guys want to find more practice problems, then you can always visit our website at www.bronsysmathclub.com. And we'll see you guys next time.